would have to say my fondest memory of Dave was actually getting to uh, go skiing with him a couple of times. They changed my style and it was more like a, a boxing style of skiing. I've worked at Mammoth for over 46 years. I would walk into Dave's office on any given day and have some business agenda to discuss and we would never ever talk about the business. We would always talk about something else. Whereas when we were building Chair 22 and we were setting the towers with the helicopters and Dave walked up and goes, isn't this great? He goes, this is gonna be a great chairlift. People are gonna love skiing on this chair. You know, he knew everybody by name. He knew everybody's first name. He was just a great human being and a great person. I was just a little cashier. I didn't really know Dave much then. Oh, he was always great. He was always just one of the guys. I mean, he makes his rounds and he says hi to everybody every day and uh, always was such an inspiration to everybody. I don't think I'll ever work for a guy that was as nice as Dave. You'll never, there'll never be another Dave McCoy. It was absolutely wonderful. He was my second father. I loved him. The most inspiring thing I can say to you, Dave, is that you reminded me that every time you wake up, you said it's a new day and you're gonna find something good in that day. Well, I grew up on Mammoth Mountain myself, you know, on the junior race team and worked up there since 1983. I mean, when he, when he would even walk close to me, I'd be like, oh, Here's Dave. <laughs> Here I am in my original meeting place, having met you while standing in a dumpster. You know, Dave and I would have meetings all the time, but Dave didn't believe in meetings. We'd do our business, ride in the lift, we'd talk on the way up, and we'd ski on the way down. He'd give me a ride to work every day, because I had to hitchhike and give me a ride. But it was hard, because he was the owner of the ski resort, so I was already so shy. I remember we were doing a board packet. Rusty was uh, hoping to get the board packet out. Dave came in, said, forget it. And Mark Clausen and I went mountain bike riding with him. So <laughs> board packet had a way, and we had a great time that afternoon. <laughs> That's probably the biggest thing. It's like you were part of the family and working at Mammoth and being part of it. I mean, that was, that was a big thing. You, you could feel that from him. So it wasn't like, oh, you're just working this little job, so you're not important. Everybody was important to the whole. Immensely satisfying. Dave is a, an incredibly approachable and humble person. Hey Dave, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being my mentor and my friend for all these years and wish you a very happy and healthy birthday. Happy birthday, Dave. Each day I think about how you always said that today is the greatest day. And we still try to run the company that way, whether Mother Nature brings us snow or not. Today is your greatest day. A hundred years, and we're all better because of it. We love you, think about you every day, 